Hi students, welcome to the channel NCR Team and Tutor. If you like this video, please click the like button, share and subscribe. In this video, I am explaining the solution of exercise 3.1, chapter 3, trigonometric functions. In that, question number 2. Find the degree measures corresponding to the following radian measure. In this question, they have given radian measure and we need to convert that into degree measure. The relation between degree measure and radian measure is pi radian is equal to 180 degree. So, 1 radian is equal to 180 divided by pi degree. So, you, if you multiply this value to radian measure, then you can get the required degree measure value. So, to find out the degree measure, the formula is degree measure is equal to 180 divided by pi into radian measure. And in this, the pi value you need to replace with 22 by 7. See, this is the very important thing whenever you are finding the degree measure and if they have given the radian measure, that time you have to replace the pi with 22 by 7. In some cases, in the radian measure itself, we may have pi. See here in these these two problems contains pi. That time the pi get cancelled. If the radian measure does not have pi value, that time you need to replace that pi with 22 by 7. So let us solve the problem. First one we have 11 by 16. So 11 by 16 we have here. See the formula is degree measure is equal to 180 by pi into radian measure. So 180 by pi into 11 by 16. So replace this uh, pi with 22 by 7 as here the pi value does not get cancelled. Here we don't have pi. So 180 divided by 22 by 7 into 11 by 16. So uh, this will go upside the 7 and 22 will come down. So 180 into 7 divided by 22 into 11 by 16. Now, now you perform the cancellation 11 ones are 11 twos are then again here with the 2, 2 eights are 2 nineties are and again again here 2 ones are 2 45s are. So final answer you get 45 into 7 divided by 8 that is, is equal to 315 divided by 8. See here we got the answer which is degree measure but this is not in proper form. Degree measure means it is written, it needs to be um, written in uh, degree minutes as well as seconds. Whereas here we do just have a fraction value. We may get some fraction value here. So that's why first of all you need to convert, you need to perform here division. So you need to divide 350. 315 divided by 8 you have to do. So when you perform the division you get the required answer here. So 8 and then 315. So 8 threes are uh, 24. So here we have 75. 8 nines are 72. So 3. See here we got the reminder as 3. Then quotient as 39 and then uh, divisor is 8. So now this value you need to find out. You need to write in QRD form. QRD form means quotient, reminder and divisor form. So the quotient is 39 here, reminder is 3 here and the divisor is 8 here. So first write the quotient that is 39. So 39 degree. See now here we got one complete degree here. Here we don't have fraction value. Then next um, reminder divided by divisor. So reminder is 3 here divided by divisor that is 8. 3 by 8 degree. But this cannot be taken as degree as here we have this one in fraction form. Now you need to convert this degree into minute. So to convert degree into minutes we know that uh, 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. So that's why you need to multiply 60 to this. If you multiply 60 to this then you can get the required answer in degree form. So here uh, Sorry, in minute form. So, 3 by 8 into 60. So, here uh, 2 fours are 8. Again, 2 thirties are 60. Again, 2 twos are 4. 2 fifteens are 30. Here we get 39 degree. Again, 45 divided by 2 minutes. But still, this is uh, not in fraction, uh, not in the minute form. Uh, even though this is a minute, but it is a fraction. So, again, you have to perform the division here. So, again, divide uh, 45 by 2. So, here we get... Uh, uh, 
two twenty two sir forty four and one. So here quotient is twenty two, remainder is one, and uh, divisor is two. So now write this one, uh, this particular value in uh, quotient remainder divided by divisor form. So quotient is twenty uh, two. So this one now I can take as a twenty two minutes. As here we perform the division of this forty five by two, which is in minute. So twenty two minutes. Then again, remainder is one divided by divisor is two, one by two minute. So now we got thirty nine degree and twenty two minute. But this is in fraction form. This minute we have to convert this one uh, in seconds now. So one minute is equal to sixty seconds. So multiply this with sixty. Then uh, you get the answer in uh, seconds. So half into sixty. So here we have two one sir two thirty. Uh, Thirty sir. So here we get the final answer as thirty-nine um, uh, degree twenty second uh, twenty second uh, minutes and thirty seconds. So this is about the final answer. See, uh, here one thing you have to remember that uh, the first thing is that uh, if uh, here we got the answer in uh, fraction form, so that you have to convert in degree, and then next uh, if the answer is in uh, degree fraction form, again you have to convert that in uh, minutes, and then again minutes uh, fraction form to seconds. So that those conversion you have to do, and uh, while performing the conversion, you have to perform the division and uh, the required whatever answer. Final answer you get that you have to write in QRD form. QRD means quotient, remainder, and divisor form. Based on that, you can get the required answer. Next, uh, here uh, we have next question. In the next question, they have uh, given uh, as uh, minus four. So minus four here we have negative value. So the formula is degree measure is equal to one eighty by pi into radian measure. So one eighty by pi into minus four. So Replace this pi with the twenty-two by seven, so one eighty by twenty-two by seven into minus four. So here this will go up and this will come down. One eighty into seven divided by twenty-two into minus four. Two two sir two eleven sir. So here we get one eighty into seven into minus two divided by eleven. So that is is equal to one two six zero into minus two divided by eleven. So here we get the answer as minus. Uh, uh, Two five two zero divided by eleven. See here we got the answer, but this is uh, in fraction form. We have to represent the answer in degree. So just to perform the division now, so two five two zero and eleven. So eleven two sir twenty two. Then again here we get three two zero. Again eleven two sir twenty two. Here we get hundred, and then eleven nine sir ninety nine. So one. So quotient is two twenty nine. Remainder is one, and uh, divisor is eleven. Now this uh, uh, value you need to write in uh, quotient. Di uh, remainder divided 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 by divisor form. So quotient is two twenty nine. So minus two twenty nine degree. Then uh, remainder is one divided by divisor eleven. So this is in degree one by eleven degree. It is in fraction form. Now this degree you need to convert in minute. So we know that one degree is equal to sixty minutes. So just multiply sixty uh, to this. So uh, minus two twenty nine degree. Then again uh, into one by eleven into sixty. Minutes. So this is converted into now uh, minutes. So here we get two twenty nine degrees sixty by eleven. But still, this this uh, minute is in fraction form. So now again, you have to convert. Uh, you have to perform the division. So divide sixty by eleven. You have to perform. So eleven five sir fifty five. So here we get uh, quotient as five, remainder as five, and uh, divisor as eleven. So right now this answer in this uh, form: quotient, remainder divided by divisor form. So quotient is five. So five minute we got this one. You are writing in minutes form as here we have minute. So five minute. Then again. A remainder is five divided by quotient five by eleven. This is also in minute, but this is in fraction form. So again, you have to convert this one in now second. So one minute is equal to sixty seconds. So multiply sixty to this, then that is converted to seconds. So two twenty nine minus two twenty nine degree five uh, minutes. Then again, five divided by eleven into sixty. This is seconds now. So here you get three hundred uh, by eleven. Now this uh, value is in fraction form. Again, you have to perform the division. So eleven and three hundred we have here. So eleven two sir twenty two. Again here we have eighty. Eleven seven sir seventy seven. So three. So here we got quotient twenty seven. Remainder as three and divisor as eleven. So now represent this one in uh, quotient remainder divisor form. So quotient is twenty seven. So this one you can write as the seconds. As here uh, whatever answer we get, this is uh, 
in uh, second form so so 27 seconds then again reminder is 3 and quotient is 11 see here uh, you got again this uh, particular answer in uh, sec uh, fraction form only uh, so you can't further divide this one further you can't uh, simplify this one as here in the degree measure we have only three units like degree one degree is equal to degree minutes and seconds one degree is equal to 60 minutes then one minute is equal to 60 seconds after seconds we don't have any smaller divisions so that's why here this one uh, we will retain as it is so you can write this one as minus 229 degree 5 minutes and 27 seconds uh, approximately so like this way you can write as here we have this 3 by 11 so uh, that you can write the approximate value so this is uh, the second sub question next here um, let us see the uh, another one the uh, pi pi by 3 we have here for that we will see the solution so third question is 5 pi by 3 See, the, uh, when the question is given in this way, then it is very easy to convert. As here we have pi and um, uh, in the formula also we have pi. So, uh, there pi get cancelled. So, here no need to perform any division and all. So, now degree measure is equal to 180 by pi into radian measure. So, 180 by pi into 5 pi by 3. So, here pi gets cancelled. Then uh, 3 ones are 3 60s are 180. So, here we get 60 into 5. That is, is equal to 300 degree. So, here we got the answer easily. If you have pi in the radian measure, then it is very easy to get the answer. If you don't uh, have pi, then you have to replace that uh, formula pi into 22 by 7 and then you have to perform the division operation and all. Next here we have um, fourth question. This is also very easy to do as here we have pi here 7 pi by 6. So degree measure is equal to 180 by pi into radian measure. So 180 by pi into 7 pi by 6. Uh, then here pi pi get cancelled. Then here we have 6 ones are 6 thirties are 180. So 30 into 7. 30 into 7 that is uh, is equal to 210 degree. So, here we get the answer as 210 degree. So, this is uh, about uh, exercise uh, 3.1, question number 2.